and OK, Instagram and Facebook Live are both live. Wow. As is this beautiful woman <laughs> sitting in front of you wearing a top that I may steal and turn into a shirt for myself. <laughs> and here she is, Suzanne Summers. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Caroline. Hello, hello. I'll give you this shirt. You want my shirt, Ellen? Right off your back. It would look cute on you. I know. I'd give you anything. Wow, anything. Anything. I'll have to go and check out your wardrobe. You know, I went out for dinner the other night with my friend Lori and Dean, who are the architects of our new house. And she's wearing these bracelets, and I said, that's so pretty. And meaning it's so pretty, she took it off. She said, here, you have it. Isn't that pretty? Just a little teeny thing. Something nice. I know. I know. And the concept is great. Yeah. Because there are no little locks you have to fiddle with. That's the new thing I've run into since I have nerve damage. Oh my God, getting necklaces on is really difficult. Getting earrings in this ear, going over, that's why I don't have them on today. I thought I needed them, but Caroline and, and Alan both said I didn't need earrings. But, what are you doing, Al? It's 101. Yeah, it's hot today. Right now, it's 101. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going up to... 102. Did you see, who's the little guy, um, um, William and Kate's youngest son, who was being a two? Louis. Louis. <laughs> oh, uh, that's, his name is George. Uh, what? His, his name is George. No, I think it's, I think it's Louis. He goes by Louis. Oh, he go, oh, he is George, but he goes by Louis? Well, anyway, He's you all gonna, probably he, saw he, what we he saw. Will, he will one day be King George the Seventh. <laughs> No, it's the youngest brother. She's talking about the youngest brother, Louis. Oh, okay. Louis, who did not want to be there. <laughs> As a comedian, I'm watching every movie he's making go, it's perfect, perfect. <sighs> he could make any face he wanted. The rest of them all had to go, oh, that's lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, anyway. He's the free spirit. And he humanized Prince Charles for me for the very first time. Did you see him sit in his grandfather's lap? I've never seen Prince Charles be affectionate or show any kind of, of human interaction. And he took the little boy in his lap. You can tell he's done it before. The little boy was very comfortable being in his grandfather's lap. And you know, they, don't, they can't sit still. They gotta go back and forth. and. <laughs> I gotta do comedy again. I love doing faces. <clears throat> well, sell me a comedy show, Al. I think I'm ready. Okay. You, you have one. I do. Right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it first, folks. So, how's your gut, everybody? Hmm? Well. I have to, before we go any further. Mm. Oh, that's so I, good. That's the Gut Renew coffee chocolate smoothie. Right. Oh. I know there are people who join us at the beginning mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. or three times a week who want to know what the deal is because they have something else they have to rush off and What's do. What's the deal, Al? Okay, so to accommodate those folks, here's the deal. Today, you get a free gift which is the Restore Life Digestive Renew Supplement with any purchase of 50 bucks or more. And the Digestive Renew Supplement is $55. Oh. What a deal. Oh. Okay. There it is. Well, let me tell you why you should care about digestive enzymes. Another thing that stops functioning properly as we get older. I keep telling you, aging is about worn out parts, but we're so lucky now because we can do sophisticated testing through urine testing or saliva or blood work, depending on your doctor's preference. A qualified doctor, don't go to a doctor that doesn't know anything about alternative or integrative or bioidenticals or anything because that's like going to a, a plumber for a heart bypass. I'm, I'm not kidding, it's that, that out of their element. Anyway, 
Um, we run out of hormones, you know that, as we age. We run out of nutrients, you know that, as we age. We run out of minerals as we age. Those things, that's what makes Tommy run. Those, that's like the, the, the template. But other functions with aging decrease in their magnitude and power. One in particular, I, I usually talk about hydrochloric acid first, but I'll talk about digestive enzymes. After you eat your meal, um, take I take three of these. Uh, if you bloat, here's a great answer. Now, now having gut renew every day, a smoothie, it's not a penance, it's delicious. I look forward to the afternoon to have my coffee pick me up smoothie. It's so good, let me taste it. Mm. Mm. But um, when you eat your food, comes down, uh, chew your food. If you want to have a good gut, chew your food. Don't put big pieces of unchewed food down into your esophagus and then your, it goes over into your stomach and it, you don't have hydrochloric acid. I'll get to that in a minute. And so that's not chewing it up. And then it gets into the small intestine and it goes <laughs> like that. That's food in your small intestine. And we're not even in the colon yet. We're in the small, I, I mean, I could show you what they look like here, but my husband treats my body model um, irreverently. But the intestines are this, this maze of, of like ropes that anything gets through it. And so when you're young and it's all pliable and it's not worn out, it's not worn thin, even if you don't chew your food, it just kind of goes through. It's like a cat, you know, you give a cat food and um, they eat and then they poop. And it's just like that. So, not so for us. So as you get older, you chew your food, goes down past the gastric sphincter, which is right here, that's between your two breasts. Goes over into the stomach, which is under the left breast. And um, the first thing it wants is hydrochloric acid, and we've got the best kind. Betaine HCl, hydrochloric acid with pepsin. It, it doesn't get any better than this, really. Okay, so you take the hydrochloric acid, or maybe still make a little. Are you, are you in indigestion all the time? If you have indigestion, you're not making a hydrochloric acid. Well, by, by the way, I have a note here from DKM339 who says, no bloat with meal, HCl pectin taken with meal, just one capsule, wow. Oh, and aren't you glad you found this at this stage of your life? Because it was just going to get worse. I require, I let mine go so long, I require three with each meal. Alan requires four with each meal. Maybe it's something as you get older you need more. But when we're young, we make plenty of hydrochloric acid, and that's why food, you don't have the same kind of bloating and issues that, that people of our ages do. And so the hydrochloric acid, uh, is acid that's necessary for life and it, it uh, allows your food to get digested in your, in your stomach. But now it's got to go over into the small intestine. Well, now, now you're probably at the end of your meal. At the end of your meal, take one to three. I, I require three. I was in my GI tract was in bad shape. I require three. That's what nature would have done if you weren't losing parts in the aging process, but we're putting it back in natural, non-drug ways, and just the, the brain is so smart, not so smart. The brain goes, oh, I thought you were, that I was going to have to start getting rid of you, but oh, maybe you can, wow, I'm only here to perpetuate the species, so, so I'm biologically speaking, um, so um, okay, you can digest your food. It's part of health is to digest your food. So you take the hydrochloric acid at the beginning of your meal, you take the digestive enzymes at the end of your meal, and by the time it gets into your small intestine, the digestive enzymes are doing its work. They're like little Pac-Men, and they move things along, and then, oh, and then, and then when you go to bed, we like this, don't oh, we, yeah. Al? Yeah. I brought this to a dinner party the other night in a gift bag, and the host said, what's that? And I said, you're going to love me for this. I said, you put one spoon in a cup of uh, warmed hot water. I like mine hot. It makes a warm lemon fizzy tea. It's loaded with vitamin C and magnesium. Magnesium relaxes you. 
puts you to sleep. N nice thing to take before you go to bed. And it's one of our most important minerals. And then you wake up in the morning, because it's gentle, cold, and renew, uh, the magnesium puts you to sleep and then, and then you have a nice poop. This is a great thing. This is a great thing, and it's not a penance. The other thing that I take every single day of my life, twice a day, I take um, the, the Advanced Probiotic. This is such a cool presentation. It's dual encapsulation. Uh, can you pull that off, Al? Thanks. Dual encapsulation means that... <clears throat> thanks, Al that um, we've got the probiotic in the center of the, of the capsule. The outside is, you can see it's like a liquid in there. Why? Because when you take the probiotic to, to put your microbiome back in balance, it's so important. I, I would say if you're only going to take one supplement for the rest of your life, take this advanced probiotic. It's so, it's so valuable. So when you get the, the probiotic into your stomach, and now the, the hydrochloric acid starts eating that up too, but no, dual encapsulation, it can't get at the probiotic because by the time it can get there, it's dissolved and it's in your GI tract and then your GI tract gets all the probiotic. Can you hold that up for the mouth? Uh -oh. just, the, just the pill. I think you can you see it yeah it's this is brilliant now when you take a, a probiotic you also want to take a prebiotic why you ask prebiotic is essentially food for the probiotic so when you take a prebiotic it makes the um, probiotic work better and you like these don't you Al I do he likes, when I, when I make his vitamins up at night, he goes, where's my candy? Because <laughs> it's really quite tasteful. But imagine, uh, tasty. Uh, the probiotic restores your gut microbiome, really important, every morning, every night. And the prebiotic is food for the probiotic, making the probiotic work better. What's bad about that? It's kind of great. So those are the things that we are featuring in addition to the Gut Renew, which is one of our most exciting products. And everybody who has bought Gut Renew, you'll, you'll read. And I know there, there'll be people going, oh my gosh, I can't live with that. Oh my gosh, I love it. It tastes so good. It's so easy to make. You can make it any way you want. I was with a friend the other night who's got issues, and so I gave him gut renew. He can't believe how much better he feels with the gut renew. Now, this is a guy, have you ever met anybody who doesn't know how to cook? I mean, he doesn't know how to cook. And he's telling me that, and I, I, he said, I have to hire a guy to come over in the morning to make my smoothies. It's a minimum three hours. I said, you're paying someone a three hour minimum to make a smoothie? I'll, I'll do that job. Yeah. I said, oh my God, you, oh my God, that's so wasteful. He said, I don't know how to cook. I said, how about on the days that you don't have someone there making you your smoothie, because he has help other times of the week. Put two spoons of this in water and stir it up. Can you do that? I said, you'll get the same effect. It's just that when we make, turn them into smoothies, it just it's more fun, it tastes better. So I drink the coffee chocolate smoothie pretty much every day. I love it. But in the 30-day um, Gut Renew Challenge Guidebook, whatever we're calling it, I never know what we're calling it. Guide. It's the it's Gut Renew Guide. 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 Look at all the, these are just a, a few of the recipes that are inside. You can make anything you want. Like yesterday, oh, we had some, you know when blueberries are good and they're really good? We had two bins of, you know, boxes of blueberries that I washed and put in the colander, the little drainy thing. Wasn't that good? And they that were great, but you know, the, <clears throat> the best blueberries we've ever had, and we I had them know. like 30, 35 years yeah. ago, and I still remember them, yeah. was in Quebec City, and they were wild blueberries. Yeah. They were much smaller 
but oh. they, they, it, they exploded. We've never stopped talking about them. You know who else has great uh, wild blueberries is Dr. Jonathan Wright. Remember when we stayed up yeah. at his house? Yeah, well, he grows them wife? outside his office. Yeah, outside his office. He's just got rows of blueberries. And they're also much higher in antioxidants. Antioxidants, yeah, it's like incredible. So a lady, uh, while we were doing this, uh, a lady wanted to know, she's postmenopausal, she said, and she wants to know if hormones will uh, work for uh, vaginal dryness. Oh, it's, it's absolutely the answer. The reason you have um, vaginal dryness is because of a lack of estrogen, a lack of progesterone, a lack of testosterone. So there's no, nothing, think of it as food for your, your sex organs and there's nothing feeding your sex organs or your nerves in that area. And so it's just, that's why I call itchy, bitchy, sleepy, sweaty, bloated, forgetful, and all dried up. All right, that, those are all symptoms of hormone loss. If I were you and it were me, I would read my book, I'm Too Young for This. If you could get one down there, it's down near the bottom of the first of the three shelves. See the bookshelves and there's three? So look at row one. You're looking at row three. Look over at row one. Here? No. There? Yeah. And look sort of near the bottom. And and you can get, down there should be an I'm Too Young for This. Or if maybe in that whole last bookcase that's all my books. I still can't get over that. Um, we pulled out 365 Ways to Save Your Life the other day, and I totally forgot I had written that book. I, I, I'm a surprise. Okay. This isn't my greatest cover, but it's maybe the greatest book on hormones I've written, and they're all good, and they all are loaded. But there are doctors in here telling you it's not me, doctors, and... Um, this is the most comprehensive because with each book on hormones that I write, the science changes a little more and a little more and a little more. Any of those symptoms, itchy, bitchy, sleepy, sweaty, bloated, forgetful, and all dried up, the seven dwarves of menopause, any of those um, are bothering you, you need hormones. It's, 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 remember, aging is about worn out parts. First thing that wears out are the hormone balance. And wow, the difference between... Um, no balance and balance is just uh, uh, unbelievable. When you go to the doctor um, and, they'll, and they'll do your lab work and tell you what you need, you need this. Yeah, and, and, and just a reminder, Suzanne, we are doing another Live Health show next week. Um, so we'll, you'll be able to yeah. answer a lot of these questions next week. As right, well. which I love answering. I can answer it over and over again. But when you go to your doctor, um, they'll do all the lab work and then um, they start you on a beginner's course. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And when she said that to me, I went, well, she said, it's not everything you need, but we'll, we'll fix this over time. And I said, well, I, I want what I need. She said, I can't give you everything you need. It took a long time to drain out. We've got to move you back into hormonal balance slowly or else. I said, or else what? She said, you'll literally go crazy. You can't play around with hormones. So people think that, you know, hormones are haphazard. You just slap them on. No, you don't. You don't. Uh, go, to the, go, to, go to Live Health. It's incredible. And uh, find the uh, the doctor that resonates the most with you. It, now we you don't really need to find a doctor nearest you, the one that resonates with you. And it's yeah, no, they 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 give you a doctor based on where you live, mm -hmm. so that you can do it through. Um, it's all done remotely, and we're going to do a full presentation on it with a live health representative next week. But it's so amazing that now everyone can access the kind of doctors that Suzanne's been talking about. Did you want me to join you in a tequila? Sure. Here you go. Okay. It's almost your birthday, Al. I know. Yeah, my birthday is June 30th. Okay. Don't don't send any gifts. No money. Okay. Nothing. Well, money. Money? <laughs> <laughs> or just sign a blank check. Yeah. That's probably That'd the be best great. way. Yeah. We won't abuse it, will no, we? No, no. No, no. We won't abuse no. it. And it'll go to uh, it, it'll go to a really good effort. It's the Allen Hamill Driveway Fund. Oh yeah. 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 You have to fix that driveway. <laughs> well, it needs fixing. So. Yeah. Well, we're the ones to fix it. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, we have, oops, Paula. Paula said, checking out Live Health, good to know they can find a doctor in my area. That's yeah, and you know, if you're, if, you're gonna, if you're going to Live Health, make sure you mention Suzanne, because if you decide to sign up for the program, you get your first month free. If you mention Suzanne's name, she is, she's the promo code, Suzanne. Yeah, <laughs> you get a better deal if you mention my name. <laughs> um, hey, do you guys have a bag of gut renew? Because... I do. We do. I haven't seen Gut Renew yet. You have it? It's a Gut Renew show. It's sitting right in front of me. Okay, let me just... Okay, so we've already discounted the, the, uh, the, the big size, right? Yeah, the, the, today is a, the promo is the free gift of the digestive enzyme. So Digestive Renew is the free gift today. Right. We have so many different, we have Gut Renew in the value size, which is 30 servings. We have the 10 serving bag. Um, and then we have a bunch of kits that are set up for you with the supplements and the program guide if you want to take the 30-day challenge. The program Choices. guide is uh, important because of all the recipes in there. And by the but way, then the, again, with your yeah. gut renew smoothie, think outside of the box. L maybe you want to put uh, you know, a, a spoonful of raspberry jam in there. I don't know. There's no wrong. You know, the uh, what was I about to say? I don't know. Yeah, something. Harold Matzner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here's the deal. Oh. Okay. We give you Restore Life Digestive Renew Supplement free with any $50 purchase, and that is worth $55. Okay. That's a great deal. Okay, there it is there for you folks at Insta. Okay. Here's a recipe right on the back. Two scoops of the Gut Renew, uh, eight ounces of coconut milk, a cup of frozen wild blueberries, and three to five ice cubes. Blend it up. It's so good. It's so good. By it'll, the way, it'll blow you away. It's so good. The other, uh, the other thing I remember from those incredible wild blueberries in Quebec City mm -hmm. was that when we left the restaurant, we had a major let me call it a misunderstanding. <laughs> and you took, Back in the day. You took off by yourself. Yeah. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, I pulled an Amber Heard. Okay, on these, <laughs> these little, dark little streets. I know. Okay. I was young and stupid, and I wasn't fully formed yet. <laughs> you know, I heard a woman today on TV, she said, she was talking about some product. She goes, I like it. It makes me feel young again. I said, everybody wants to feel young again. What about... I don't want to be young again. I... That's, what, that's my point. Oh, okay. That my point is, if you reach our ages and older, and you're in good health, and you've taken care of yourself, what you put into your life and your body, there's a payoff. The, a big payoff. Like I was watching a guy on television today who's 83, who, who looks 93, and I looked at him and I looked at Alan and I thought, night and day, what's the difference? Alan loves fruit and nuts and he loves his life and he loves me and his family. Anybody okay. else you love? Well, Can, uh, Candice Marciniak okay. is asking, what is your favorite cake, Al? Mm -hmm. Well, you're the cake person. But she asked what my favorite cake yeah, is. Yeah, well, we have found, a, a, or Caroline found, a cake maker who well, makes these cakes. I, I was about to answer oh. Oh. the question. Oh, I thought you wanted me to Suzanne. answer for you. You answer No, no, I was, about, I, would, I was going to answer with my cake. And actually, it's not actually cake. Mm -hmm. It's pie. Oh. I love cherry pie. Huh. Did you and know that, Caroline? I love cherry I pie. And I used to get my cherries from northern Michigan. I ha they have to be amongst the best cherries in the world. And I can't find a, a resource up there anymore. Is that what Julie just sent you, those cherries? No, that came from uh, a farm somewhere. Okay. Uh, but northern Michigan. They used to send us uh, fresh cherries, but I can't find it. Uh, you can get the, the, the ones made into jam, etc. Wait till you see what Caroline is bringing you for your birthday dinner. Okay. 
Oh. I bet it's a cherry pie. I'll but bet I it is know. too. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, I could eat a whole cherry Maybe. pie. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I could eat a whole cherry pie. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. So that's my answer. Cherry pie. Hmm. So you can send me a cherry pie. No, don't. I could. <laughs> if I never had a piece of cherry pie in my life again, I wouldn't care. But you know, that's what. You know, it's great that we we have that one difference because most everything else we we resonate, right? On um, cherry pie? No, no, about everything. Oh, the blueberry you know, and my about beans. things. We, what did we, you do that made me so mad that night? What did I do? Yeah, you must have. Cause no, I think this me. this was pre bioidentical hormones. And and we weren't married yet. And you weren't married, and you were nuts. Okay. You you actually flew off the handle, so to speak. I didn't do anything. That is so not true. Thank yeah, you. it is. Thank you. That is a toxic male thing to say. I'm going to say it. That's I know, but it's true. Thing. She just she was just crazy. <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> no, she spent three hours making you a cherry pie, and then you left and didn't have a bite of it. When you have dealt with <laughs> Thank a you, Caroline. highly spirited menopausal woman I wasn't who is not on I was PMSE okay she was like 24 so, no she wasn't menopausal. yeah I wasn't menopausal no. this is they made you the cherry pie and no sausage. but you were but no but you were like you crazy no I had PMS okay a lot well, of women PMS. listening had PMS I understand now what PMS is and it's it's actually not a joke the reason we get PMS is that we stop making sufficient progesterone early on. It's, it's not good because, remember, estrogen is anti-carcinogenic, I mean, it's carcinogenic, and progesterone is anti-carcinogenic. Estrogen pours every day of the month, but on the uh, 12th day of the month, the progesterone comes in, the receptor sites are open, and it receives the anti-carcinogenic hormone component of your your uh, hormones and that's how you prevent getting cancer it, ostensibly um, uh, PMS is because you don't have enough progesterone and that's our feel-good hormone and when you don't have enough progesterone when you're young and you're making oodles of, of, of estrogen but no progesterone it comes out of you like this <laughs> a single mom and broke and came from an extremely traumatic childhood <laughs> and you had an unstable boyfriend <laughs> who came and went like the wind. Thank you, you darling. You spent three hours making a cherry pie. Telling me it's things. all chemical and <laughs> medical. Well, it appears. And he's telling me the whole time during this time that he's never getting married again. Really? It appears, you know, you know what's really amazing? What is amazing? And I read that to you the other day. Uh -huh. Someone wrote something. Oh, I know. It was that comic, the British comic. Uh -huh. And when he, he did, he did this, I've never heard of him, but he did this incredible stand-up routine about the difference between men's brains and women's brains. And how uh, in, in men's brains, we have these, all these boxes. And none of the boxes touch each other. <laughs> but in women's brains, they also had a whole bunch of boxes, and they all touch each other. We're hardwired to hear so everything. True. And what hardwired. that means is that what that means is yeah. when we have an argument, suddenly the all the boxes yeah. kick in. Okay, and we go into ancient history. I know, but not anymore. Not anymore. But with guys. Well, the other thing he said, women don't understand how guys can sit in front of the TV and think nothing <laughs> and do nothing, okay? Women are not capable of doing that. Thank God. We get things done. We got, That's right. We got, hey, uh, speaking of which, Christine um, on Facebook said, I have my gut renew every day. Truly a perfect product. Something I was looking for. I bought so many protein powders for years, and then you came out with this, and I have never not buy. I do never not buy. Thank you, Christine. I look forward to the chocolate version because I'm also a fan of Manu the Honey. Thank you, Christine. I really do think uh, I, I I've tried every protein shake, and it was always kind of a penance, wasn't it? it Tastes chalky, and but it's good for you, so you down it, but you don't really look forward to it. This one, like Christine just said. 
I look forward to this. I have one in the morning most days, and I have one in the afternoon most days. And it's really, oh, you, the, we're just talking about taste right now, how good it is. But then when you realize what it's doing for your GI tract, oh my God. The barrier yeah. wall is so important in the GI tract, and this helps support that barrier wall. The, the, the barrier wall is the length of a tennis court. And so around it is all this mucus. You know what that mucus is? That's your immune system. And so when you've got chemicals going in your body, eating non-organic food or glyphosate or genetically modified food and all that, it's all these little bad guys are now in your GI tract. And if you're not taking uh, probiotics and prebiotics, then um, the, the little bad guys go, oh good, I'm gonna eat through that barrier wall. And while I eat through the barrier wall, you know what I'll also do? I'm going to eat through the, the mucus so I, I screw up her immune system. And so now you got all these bad guys in your bloodstream, and it can be so effectively um, supported if you use the Gut Renew to strengthen that barrier wall, support that barrier wall. And you know, if you guys read these comments, like Lisa also on Facebook said, I totally agree with Christine. I love the Gut Renew. I've tried a number of protein powder, powders and have not found anything that I love. I love it. Okay. Well, the fact that we're... Yeah, this is a pro it's a protein powder, but it's loaded with gut health nutrients. Yeah. Right. Also, like immune support and minerals and phyto fruits and vegetables, just... It, it gives you, if you do nothing else good for yourself in a, in a day, have one gut renewed. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's really a, a great place to start. Okay, so Sassy Surf Girl, <laughs> Sassy Surf Girl, just joined. What's the deal? Okay, Sassy, here it is. Okay. We give you a free gift, which is the Restore Life Digestive Renew Supplement, which is worth 55 bucks. All you have to do is spend 50 or more, okay? It's a great deal today. And it's, these are great products that we use every single day. You want to be a hit when you go to a dinner party? Bring the host, put, put a bag of gut renew and a couple of these things and a, a, a a jar of the gentle colon renew. First of all, it makes for big laughs at the dinner party. Everybody laughs. Everybody laughs when it comes to having a good poop. But it's like it's getting your magnesium at night and the the idea of magnesium as a along with your melatonin to go to sleep. You go into this deep restful sleep. Nothing will make you sleep more deeply and peacefully than magnesium and then vitamin C, which is great. So, uh, and it's a little easier on your system than fiber products correct. that help with occasional constipation because the way the magnesium and the vitamin C works to contract, it gently contracts the muscles of your colon rather than fiber products for some people can make people uncomfortable in the stomach as they're kind of pushing their way through. Yeah, because remember those intestines are getting older like everything else, aging is about worn out parts. Uh, and so they get like, think of your garden hose, gets kinks in it and it kind of gets worn out in some areas and food's got to go through it now, but it's like having a hard time moving its way around in there. And all of these products will help you to have an easier time with digestion. I know you never thought about it before, did you? I didn't. When I, growing up, I never thought about having a good gut balance or anything. We are under the greatest environmental assault in the history of humanity. I will not ever stop saying that so you remember. And it makes people very ill. It, I was reading about the brain the other day. I'm very fascinated by the brain. And your body is as healthy as your brain. And, um, uh, but the gut supports the brain. There's a gut-brain connection. And then there's a... a a blood barrier uh, connection up here and it all depends on the health of your GI tract. This bloating you have, this constipation you have, this discomfort, this unexplained weight gain, all these things that you can't understand about your body now and never used to be like that, it's because of all the chemical assault from from skin care, from hair care, from color cosmetics, lead in the lipstick, cleaning your house with, with chemicals. It all matters. It all builds up. It all builds up to a point of when you spray that last round of chemical uh, room deodorizer, your liver goes, I can't. 
I'm done. I just I can't do it anymore. My job is to to um, uh, you know uh, digest not digest. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Process. Process, and and you don't want an overworked liver. And most of our livers are groaning. So if you keep your gut healthy, your liver stays healthier. If you keep your gut healthy, your brain stays healthier. It all we're one system. We shouldn't even talk in terms of parts. We're a system. So take your Maserati, if you have one, and um, take out one of the essential parts of the engine. It's still a great car, isn't it? But not working so well, right? Because it's missing that great part. Well, that's what happens to us. Just think of us as a car. People always take better care of their cars than they do their bodies. And ever since I, uh, the greatest gift I ever had was cancer. Because that's when I started taking care of my body and Alan's body. And the fact, I love the way we're aging. I love the way we're feeling. I love our energy. I love that we sleep eight hours without drugs. Um, it's, it, so that's what I was saying about the woman who said it makes me feel young again. I thought, I don't want to be young. I love my age. Because what comes with my age, and you all know this if you're anywhere around our ages, is wisdom. And uh, you can't go back to your 20-year-old self uh, and have this wisdom. It's a gift of living long enough if you're not all pilled up. And um, it's fun to be wise. So, uh, yes. you know, you mentioned the gut-brain connection a little yeah, while ago. Yeah. I wonder uh, if that's where the expression uh, shit for brains comes from. <laughs> Come here, show them how cute you look. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn uh, on Instagram said, I'm bringing my 10 serving bag of gut renew along for vacation next week. It works just great mixing with water. I yeah. I leave home without it. Oh, I totally understand. Thank you, Caroline. Carolyn. And um, it will make for a better vacation because you'll be going out to restaurants and who knows what they put in their food. Look at my cute husband. Oh. Isn't your hair cute today? Is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you're like curly head guy. I like okay. it. Well, just, yeah. just right. Yeah, okay. Well, keep it this way. Your hair sort of looks like Matthew McConaughey's hair yesterday. Oh. Is that good or bad? Good. Well, you look you look cute, Alan. Yeah, doesn't he? Okay, thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. You wear the brand colors. He's in pink today. Yeah. He looks good with the bag. You know, you were, you were, <laughs> you know, you were supposed to tell me. Hold the bag up so we can see it with your shirt. How cute you look. I was supposed to tell you what? Actually, yeah. look at this side. Yeah. Actually, you were supposed to tell me what shirt I was supposed to wear. Remember? Yeah. To coordinate with what yeah, you're wearing. Yeah. And you you failed. You already I, failed. I did. Okay. It was your idea. Yeah, your I will. From now, from it. here on in, I will. And I was ready to do it. Yeah. And I well, you did well on your own. I got no instructions from above. It was so. the it was the yellow seersucker jacket I wanted you to wear the other day when I wore the white lace dress and okay. I thought that would have been really cute together but you wore red yeah well we didn't you, you didn't check with me I didn't I no. didn't where, what did the, where did the name seersucker come from <laughs> really ponder that <laughs> I don't know yeah seersucker seersucker yeah <laughs> I'll bet some guy laughed his butt off okay I'm going to call it seersucker. <laughs> a seersucker. <clears throat> what yeah. is the etymological derivation of seersucker? Seer. Okay. Well, it's, it's like Jeopardy here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll look that up. I'm curious. Okay. All right. And I hope you're looking it up as well. Yeah. Okay. Because we can't just depend on one person to look I can't believe up. Alex is gone. Yeah. I <clears throat> Alex and I. Trebek. We uh, started together back in the early 60s uh, in Toronto. I started before him, and uh, we uh, it was great. And we hung out together. We'd go to the steam bath, the Russian steam bath on Sundays. Where, was Alex Russian? Uh, no, I think he... I don't think he was Russian, mm -hmm. but he, I think he was, he was such a nice guy. Slavic, uh, really mm -hmm. smart, mm -hmm. really smart, nice family. Too bad. Anyway, okay. So, do you want to know what seersucker means? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's a printed 
cotton or synthetic fabric that has a surface consisting of puckered and flat sections, typically in a striped pattern. The origin is from the early 18th century from Persian sir o sakar literally meaning milk oh. and sugar, oh. striped cotton garment, because seersucker formerly was typically striped. Oh. Huh. Sir o sakar from its Persian. Sir o sakar. I wouldn't have guessed that. No, it nor I. No. so British or yeah. American or... Well, I'm, I'm glad I brought this up. You know, I used to, and I keep forgetting to do it now, but I used to like to learn a word a day. And I would you have such a wonderful vocabulary. I would open the dictionary yeah. and just with my eyes closed point to anything and I would learn that word. And most of the time there were words that you would never use in like, everyday language. Like? Okay. Well, I, I never learned those. Oh, they're, okay. They're like, they're like <laughs> stupid words. No, we're not stupid. They're just not part of my daily vocabulary. Yeah, okay. yeah. So I look, I'm glad we worked out with Sir Sucker. Yeah. So you don't have to get sugar. Who knows? You don't you don't have to be puzzled anymore. That's right. All right. So I'm going to go through our product. Anytime you want. All right. I'll plan it for tomorrow. All right. And I'll tell you what the deal for is. For Friday. Okay. Okay. The deal is, okay, we give you a fifty-five dollar gift, which is the uh, <laughs> Digestive Renew. I knew that I was just testing. <laughs> The Digestive Renew that's worth 55 bucks if you spend $50 or more. What a deal, okay? What this does for your digestion, you know, it is this. a deal. Especially if you're traveling. You know, traveling is always, you get, especially flying for me, I don't like to fly. But any kind of traveling is a little uptight making, okay, with traffic and, you know, etc. cetera. And uh, that's when you need these things, really need these things because you're on the road. And you yeah. take one of these yeah. each every morning yeah. and every night. Yeah. He doesn't know because I do his vitamins. That was the, the bet that we had when our house burned down. Great bet. We were, yeah, why do I fall into this stuff? We were up in Big Sur. The greatest place to stay ever is in Big Sur, the Post Ranch Inn, my favorite place, that and in southern Utah. And um, I'm looking around in this beautiful restaurant, and I said to Alan, we should hire this architect to build our new house. I'd love a house that looked like this. How beautiful. And I said, who's the architect? He said, um, Mickey Minge. I said, it is not. You're making that up. He said, I'm not. I'm not. And um, so let's ask the guy. He said, well, first let's make a bet. I said, okay. But whenever he bets me, it's because he knows he's right and I'm going to lose, but I fell into this one because I didn't think that he would know the architect's name, Mickey Minge. And um, so I said, if I win, I want you to buy me that painting we saw in Santa Fe that I love so much. He said, okay. And if you win, you have to do my vitamins, dot, 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 for life. I said, for life. No, if I win. That's what I said. You, you said if I was, you win. No, I was talking like you said yeah. to me, and if you win. Oh, okay. Okay. For life. But I was sure I was right. I was sure of it. So the waiter comes over, and, and I said, Do you know the name of the architect here? He said, um, I think it's Mickey Minge. And I said, Do you know that for sure? He said, Well, well let me go check. And I thought, There's no way that could be the architect. Well, it comes. It was. So I lost the bet. I do his vitamins for life, <clears throat> which actually is a gift to me because I know he's taking all this stuff. And then, you know what? He bought me the painting anyway. You're a good boy, Al. And don't ask me how I knew the guy's name. I still have no idea. Mickey Minge. And how did you know the passage in 365 Ways to Change Your Life, which was what day? Day what? 57. Day 57. And I looked at him, you saw me the other day, I went, you did not. I opened it up and it was the one I wrote about him, which was, why is it so difficult to say I'm sorry? <laughs> he doesn't have any trouble with saying I'm sorry now. So anyway, let me just go through this again because we're getting short on time. <clears throat> when you eat your meal, keep this near where you eat your meals every day. Hydrochloric acid. 
it's something your body made on its own and now that you're a little older it doesn't make enough of or maybe makes none. If you make none, digesting your food is just impossible and you can eat the greatest food, organic everything, but you're not it's not extracting the good stuff out of that food. So it's just kind of lying there like stuff. Not bad stuff. It's not like having chemical stuff, but it's stuff. So the hydrochloric acid helps you to di uh, digest your food, okay? Then at the end of the meal, what normally happens in a body that's not, you know, ha having worn out parts, your body would normally make its own digestive enzymes so that once it gets through the stomach and now it's into the intestine, it starts that warm, warm, the, the mastication part. And um, I need three to have the job done for me. You may just need one digestive enzyme. You may need, need just one hydrochloric acid. Dr. Wright used to tell me with hydrochloric acid, uh, he said, because I was having such some troubles, and he said, start with three. And, and if you have no issue with that, if it's not burning because it's acid, he said, then move up to four. And if, and if you test that for a while and it's not burning because it's acid, uh, try five. He said, I have a, a rabbi in New York who uh, takes six per meal because his he's just not making anything. Well, it turns out I need three, and I if I forget to take them, when I get into bed at night, I'm aware that my my GI tract is working over time to get all this food digested. We, our digestive tract is to digest our food, and the better quality of food that you put in there, the better quality of life you're going to have. A, Poor quality food accelerates aging, so don't do that to yourself. Now, every day you take a probiotic and a prebiotic twice a day. We have a microbiome in our GI tract of good guys and bad guys. You need both. You need the exact right ratio of the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. You don't want to have all good and you don't want to have all bad. It's the probiotic that um, puts it back to balance. If you've ever had an antibiotic, you need probiotic. Anti takes away, and once it takes it away, it never restores properly again, so they say. I'm not a doctor. The prebiotic is the food for the probiotic. And then at night, have a spoonful of your fizzy, lemony, warm tea that has magnesium and vitamin C, gentle colon renew, and you'll fall into a deep, restful sleep, so restorative, and then in the morning you'll have a great poop. And not a violent one, gentle, gentle colon renew. And then on the, the gut renew, you can either get the big bag, you know how much that is, don't you, Alan? Uh, I believe that's... Um... The, the large bag is $99.99, and that qualifies you for free shipping. And then you get the digestive renew, which is a fifty-five dollar gift. Oh yeah, you get this thrown in for free because we like you. And then here's the smaller pack, which is how many servings is this? The smaller bag is ten servings, and that's uh, fifty dollars. So okay. it's forty-nine ninety-nine. It may so seem the, expensive. The large, the large bag is a much better value, obviously. In, you know what? It, it, we were we were paying, I think, ten dollars per smoothie, for you and for me. Yeah. And it's called in this store the Suzanne Summer Smoothie. I know, you and would I think, would even give them the kale from my garden. Yeah, we would go down there with with bundles of kale. <laughs> you would think they'd give us a break. Okay. They charged us full price. Full price. Yeah. Yeah, and smiled. They're nice yeah. people. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 So that was, they were ten bucks a piece. Yeah. Okay. I think if you buy the big bag, it's around three bucks per smoothie. That's a good well, deal. this and is all, honestly, if you're having any issues, it's all here. This is all thought through. You don't have to do research or anything. All of this is in my books, but this is what Jennifer I... Jennifer Johnson said, Gut Renew has changed my life. You guys read the comments. I mean, really, wow. like, we can talk about it all day, but so many people have tried this, and they feel better, and yeah. that's why they keep using it. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. When I go to people's homes for dinner, I don't bring a bottle of wine anymore. I bring stuff like this and gut renew, and everyone's so grateful. Oh, wow, Suzanne, I forgot to tell you. What? You, you have a big announcement to make today. What? Guess, what, guess what's back in stock? 
The light medium concealer. Oh, good. <laughs> I talked about it so much. That's what I put on yesterday and I forgot to blend it in. Um, I talk about it so much that everybody bought it. We, we ran out, so we've got it again. Oh, thank you. They, I'm glad to hear that. They turn around quickly, so mm -hmm. it's, it's back in stock for us. That, if you, if in my makeup line, if you only buy one thing, get the light concealer to do your highlighting. Remember, that's what I, I get up at 3 in the morning to pee, and I go in front of my mirror, I just put that on so that when Alan wakes up, because you're so beautiful, I go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I love doing well while doing good. This is doing good for you. This is... This is so important what's in front of you right now for balance in your GI tract. Your, you are as healthy as your GI tract. Your brain is as healthy as your GI tract. Everything re requires this to be a smooth running machine right here. You've seen my <clears throat> body model, which I won't let Alan take apart right now because he, he's not respectful. Of I it. abuse it. He abuses it. Yeah. He's not respectful. He, throws my intestines around and he loves throwing the breasts over there and oh what's this a heart oh, throw that do you know that when uh, we used to go on television with the with the, the model yes, right and uh, I mean it's made out of plastic I know. okay and there's only actually one breast yeah they would make us cover I know. the nipple with a post-it and yet you can go on the internet and see whatever you want, I yeah. guess. Really? Anyway. Is that what you've been doing? No. Have you been going on the internet and seeing whatever you want to see? No, you can look in my file here. You know everything I'm looking no, at. No, I never look in your file. I don't either. I never look in I your have file. nothing to hide. No. Well, we could test that, couldn't we? Why do you do this? <laughs> He's a little shit, isn't he? <laughs> Such a little shit. <laughs> I know, but I'm your little shit. <laughs> okay. Well, this has been fun. It's yeah. time to say goodbye. And it's not who you are. It's not what you do. It's not what you have. It's only about who you love and who loves you. I love you. Good night.